Imagine seeing the faces around you as a confusing series of parts instead of a whole. Individuals with autism have difficulties with making eye contact, understanding emotional expressions, and recognizing faces. Their peers at school may think that the children with autism are being rude by not looking at them in the eyes, but the real problem is that the individuals with autism just see faces differently. My name is Elizabeth White, and I'm a postdoctoral research assistant in the Laboratory of Developmental Neuroscience at Penn State. Our lab uses MRI technology to take pictures of how blood flows to various regions of the brain when adolescents with autism look at pictures of faces compared to other types of objects. We take these pictures of the brain before and after participation in our interventions to measure the effect of the interventions on changing the course of brain development. In our first computer-based intervention, adolescents with autism, ages 12 to 18, are trained to recognize cartoon-like objects called greebles. To recognize individual greebles, the adolescents with autism need to view them as a whole instead of focusing on their parts. In addition, these greebles have been shown to activate the face processing network of the brain following training. We hypothesize that the training may improve how the brain responds to pictures of human faces and thus improve the adolescent's ability to see faces as a whole. This may also lead to improvements in the adolescent's social interactions with others. A problem with this intervention, however, is that the training is somewhat boring. The design phase for the second intervention will tap into the skills I have learned from my interactions with the World of Warcraft gaming community and from the video game blog that I write under the pseudonym Lasana. Research on developing serious games allows us to blur the line between video games and educational intervention tools. Interventions for children and adolescents with autism should be fun and effective. Thus, the goal of the second phase of the intervention study is to improve autism computer-based interventions by adding in appropriate elements from video games. This includes aspects such as a storyline and plot tied to the educational objectives and increasing levels of difficulty tailored to provide appropriate challenges. When you contribute to this autism research project, you are helping us finish the first intervention and begin the design of the second intervention while we work on securing larger grant funding. Your contribution will help pay for some of the costs associated with using the MRI machine on campus to help pay for families to travel to the lab and other supplies we need for conducting this research. In return for your support, we will provide you with exciting rewards related to autism, the brain, and gaming. Together, we can bridge the world of video games and the world of autism interventions to make interventions more fun and effective. With your help, we can further our understanding of how individuals with autism view the social world. Thank you for joining our quest to improve the lives of children and adolescents with autism.